Hey, what's up, y'all? It's C. Will the Trill, and today I'm telling you guys the story of the time I flew to New York for a Tinder date. <laughs> first things first, this story and this title, they are not clickbait. I actually flew to New York for an actual date. But I will say the story is not super dramatic, so jot that down. Um, so I was in Brooklyn visiting my good friend Kay, AKA Shea Butter Femme. Uh, when I was in New York, I was on Tinder, you know, scrolling, trying to see, you know, who was in the area that wanted to hang out and, you know, chill, right? But unfortunately in New York, unless you're two year old bad, you will not get instant matches. So it's like, to this day, I'm waiting on matches still from New York and that was like two months ago. So fast forward a few days, I'm in the airport, boarding the plane to go home, um, back to Atlanta. My phone buzzes, it's like, new match. And I'm like, okay, well, who is it? <laughs> So I opened the phone and it's the person I've, I've been wanting to like match with for a few days. So I open Tinder and I get a message from her saying, Um, why are you from Atlanta and why are you moving to Japan? And I'm like, The better question is why are we just now matching? <laughs> so you know there were a few LOLs exchanged and then I was like, you know my plane's leaving in a few minutes. Give me your Twitter so I can creep on you. <laughs> At this point, it is important to note that my flight was delayed like three hours. Um, I was flying Frontier, so I was expecting it. Um, but yeah, this is the important part of the story. So as it turns out, um, her Twitter is super fi, like um, hilarious tweets, they're relatable, and every tweet is like a hit, like it all, they all like connect, you know what I'm saying? So that was like, dang, heart eyes. We do a little flirting in the DMs, nothing too major, just like, you know. Hey, you're cute. Um, you're cute too. Yeah, um, you're funny, you're funny too. You know what I'm saying, nothing too major. So that happens and then I go to sleep. The next morning, I get an email from Frontier saying, hey, we are sorry we, you know, messed up your flight. Here's a credit for travel and it expired in like a year so if i didn't use it then it would just go to waste so i was like hmm i gotta use this like you know like asapidly so i think should i go to new york again and you know see this person or should i just like you know let it go to waste i'm like hmm what would you know what would mlk want for me what would malcolm x want for me what would Issa Rae want for me? The obvious answer was to fly out. <laughs> so I say, I DM her, I'm like, hey, what if I came back to, you know, see you? <laughs> and she was like, well, do it. <laughs> so I said, say less. I bought the ticket and then we planned for a date like two weeks later. Fast forward to the day of the date. I get to New York around 8 a.m. Um, I get settled. She texts me and she's like, meet me at the Season Vegan at 3. For those who don't know, Season Vegan is like this soul food place, this vegan soul food place in Harlem, which I love. We met up, we, um, you know, shared food, we shared some laughs. We had a good conversation, you know, it was a good time all around, you know, she wasn't a catfish, so that's pretty awesome right there. You know, we had a good time and that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, um, y'all are awesome. JK and there's more. So after our meal, we go to this, this jazz place, they have like live jazz music. She's like, you like jazz? And I'm like, you know, whatever you want to do, I'm down for it. So <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> so we go to this club. Um, it's 
you know, it's uh, it's chill, it's relaxed. After an hour of jazz, we're both, you know, over the whole being out thing. So we go home to my Airbnb. We just, you know, we kick it. We um, we watch the Grammys. I made her some tea. She ordered some Ben and Jerry's. Um, you know, we just relaxed for a, a little bit. Um, you know, it was cool. We watched all the performances. You know, we tweeted and shared tweets together. Um, you know, it was it was cool. Cool vibes. We were chill. As the Grammys were ending, you know, she kept saying, um, well, I'm going to leave in a few minutes. I'm going to leave soon. I'm going to go home uh, soon. So any person that's like normal, they, you know, they'd make their move. But me, I'm baby. <laughs> so I was like, <clears throat> the whole time. I was like, okay, well, I mean, I guess I had fun with you. It was a fun time. Uh, I'm glad I came. <laughs> Hug. <laughs> um, I'm so awkward. God. <laughs> After that whole thing, we did end up kissing. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was cool. It was straight. It was, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um. She ended up going home, and then, you know, I was like, you know, I had a lot of fun. Thanks for, you know, hanging out with me today. And she was like, you know, same. <laughs> she was like, you know, I had a lot of fun too. Um, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and that is the end. Uh, it was a fun day. It was a fun day. Like, I... I came at 8 a.m. one morning and left at like 10 a.m. the next morning. So it was a quick fun trip. I would do it again for sure. I'd see her again for sure. Um, she's dope. She's awesome. Um, yeah. <laughs> the end, y'all. <sighs> Thanks for freaking watching. <laughs> okay, so obviously like, comment, and subscribe. Um, hope you guys liked that video. Um, and if not, <laughs> um, I'm sorry to hear that, I guess. <laughs> Bye.